Hello, my beautiful collective. This is Renee, and welcome back. Today, I have a message for the feminine. <laughs> is this your masculine? Oh, this person has been keeping me up. <sighs> Man, um, this masculine has definitely been keeping an eye on you. In one way or another, they have been keeping an eye on you. If they live close enough, <laughs> you can better expect that they are driving past. They are scoping you, making sure that you're still available and no one else is in your energy. This masculine has so much jealousy right now. It's just out of this world, the energy. And I feel like if they are in a connection, if they're in some sort of third party situation, this third party, if they don't know about you, they're about to. Because this masculine is letting it be known that you are very important to them. And so many people can see it and read it through this masculine that you are an important part of their life. Maybe you're not seeing it, but I feel like if you're not seeing it, then there's no possible way you could be around your masculine at all. Um, maybe you live at a distance. But this masculine is really showing it. They are showing it. They are wearing it on their sleeve that you are so important to them. But there is one thing about this masculine. This masculine is still dealing with a third party because they're still thinking about excitement. They're still living in the moment. You know, they're not thinking about anything else but their needs, temptations, you know, um, feeling free, feeling like they're obligated to the life that they live. It's so weird because this masculine wants something more fulfilling. They, they know that you're the one. They know that you are their total wish fulfillment, but it's a stubbornness it's just so crazy and all morning is just making me want to just pull my hair out <laughs> because this masculine is just over the top over the top with jealousy over the top with frustration and it's intense it is it's just totally intense um, I feel like this masculine is really worried that you are going to find something different and they're going to lose out on the opportunity. They feel like if this, if this situation don't change soon, that they're going to totally miss out. But your masculine still feels like they're the prize. They feel like they are the prize, you know, like you're, they're like doing you a favor by talking to you. It is so weird and it's, it's just frustrating. Um, I, I don't know what to say for this masculine. It's just a lot of crazy energy. A lot of overwhelming energy and I feel like this this masculine is getting very tired if they are in a connection they're getting very tired of the frustrations because they know that the person that they're dealing with is nothing like you nothing at all and they know that this person isn't trustworthy and that's making them paranoid that's making them feel like 
they can't trust anybody anyway, which this masculine never really trusted anybody in the first place. You were the first. So um, this masculine is really missing your energy, missing your energy to a point where they are really keeping an eye on you, really making sure that no one else takes advantage of your energy. They are making sure that no one else is around you to where they can lose out. That's exactly what I'm getting. They don't want to lose out on you. And it's really frustrating to this masculine because right now they don't know how to fix the situation. They don't know how to move forward and they don't want to move forward with any third party or any other connection. But because they don't know how to step forward towards you, it's like this frustration that is just making them angry. It's really overwhelming and frustrating. With all of the astrological energies that we're having this month, a serious heart-to-heart -heart is bound to happen. There's just no way around it. And I feel like this masculine is going to make some sort of excuse to come into your energy. They're going to give you some kind of surprise meeting. Uh, they may even ask you out just to talk, ask you out for coffee. Um, because they, and I feel like he's going to come to you and say that he needs to speak to you or that he needs your advice or you know something along those lines because they really don't know how to communicate the situation just yet they're not quite sure how to navigate their feelings just yet so when this masculine does come through be sure to give a little bit of grace because i feel like their emotions are very raw um they're very overwhelming and very intense and he's not quite sure how to deal with his emotions just yet he's not quite sure if he's at the point of i want to say if he's at the point of no return but he's very close and you are the destination you are the point of no return and that is his goal is to get back into your energy in some way or form because he misses you quite frankly he just misses you he misses the energy that you bring he misses your smile your beauty he misses being around you and the sexual energy the chemistry he he misses every single thing about you because every single thing about you is what he loves so it is very intense and very overwhelming for this masculine so when they do make their appearance whether it be a pop-up asking you out or having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation um they want you to be open and understanding they want you to have an open mind and an open heart because i'm also feeling patience have patience with me because I've never felt like this before. You're the first. So that's what I'm getting. And that's such sweet energy. Especially after feeling so frustrated. I feel like collective, you calm this person. And I feel like you calm them at a soul level. Not even at a heart space. You calm their soul. 
you you are able to bring this person so much peace in a life where they see so much chaos so when this person does come through have a little patience give him grace because that that is what he loves about you so much and understand this masculine does love you he does love you he may not have been able to say it he may not have been able to really show it but if you look deep if you look deep and you read between the lines he's told you that he's loved you but he's told you in his own personal way maybe it's by going out of his way to do things for you maybe it's by taking time when he really didn't have time to give at that moment or maybe it's just by doing sweet little things or maybe he's even bought you a gift but this masculine loves you and this is all very very new to them so that's what I have for you and I hope this helps many blessings to you love and light